Hey, what's up, folks? We at it again. All right. Making this video on uh, Eddie Hearn running his, his mouth again, this matchroom boxing employee. Hearn, let's see if Wilder Fury both make it to the ring. Look, this is the article that was put out today around 10.36 Eastern Time on the Boxing Scene website. Eddie feeling it. Because the Fury, sorry, Wilder versus Fury fight takes money directly out of Matchroom Boxing's mouth. You notice how when a new artist comes on the scene and they start getting hot and they're not getting really the radio plays like they like they should because they got good music. That's because they don't want to play ball with them other with them record labels and they don't want to sign to some of them. So what happens is they cut them out because guess what? If they sign to another record label, that's the competitor that takes money out of their mouth. And this is the reason why Eddie Hearn has gone on the record on many occasions to say that this fight is not happening. Over and 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 over again. Because he, because this whole time, this whole time that he's been a promoter for Anthony Johnson, he has been trying to keep Deontay Wilder in check. Me. But this silly motherfucker forgot who he's playing chess with. You forgot that he got Al Heyman on his team and Shelly Finkel on his team. And you think that they was just going to sit around, let you run amok, let you... They let you think you was in control of everything. Now everything is coming down crumbling on your ass. Just look at it. Let's, let's, let's rewind the tapes. Shelly, Deontay Wilder's team had two meetings before before all this 50% and, and this, this whole 50 million thing with Deontay Wilder. He had two meetings. And in both meetings, that matchroom boxing fucking employee, that fuck boy, only brought up Dillian White. Dillian fucking White. He would, he, he would not offer Deontay Wilder AJ. You know fucking why he wouldn't? Because last year, April sometime, that matchroom boxing employee already was talking to Joseph Parker. Was already tossing to, talking to Joseph Parker. He already put it out in the media mid-year last year that he was fighting Joseph Parker. This year. You see what I'm saying? This cat thought that he had everything lined up for Deontay Wilder. That's why he was forcing Dillian White on him. What did he say? There's no one left for him to fight. No one. Dillian White. Dillian White. Dillian White. That's. It's, it'd make the fight bigger. It'd make the, the. It'd make the AJ fight bigger. You know what I'm saying? They tried to trap this dude into fighting Dillian White, thinking that Dillian White was the only person to fight. That's why, and that's the reason why all these UK fans are trying to say, oh, he should have fought Dillian White. Oh, he, he ducking Dillian White. Oh, he doing this. But Eddie Hearn, anybody that's worth something in the boxing community know that Dillian White does not have a goddamn chance against the Bronze Bomber. You could go on any sport bet, any sport website, when when Deontay Wilder goes to fight Dillian White, look look at the odds. If that was to happen, we gonna look at the odds and we gonna know that Dillian White 
is just a, a, a measuring stick. Now, let's go back on to that other, this other fuck boy. Uh, Big Skeezer Miller. Look, this dude just needs to shut the fuck up. He ain't trying to fight nobody worth uh, of, of significance. Where Big Baby Miller at in his career right now? Let me take a sip of this Guinness. Where Big Baby Miller at in his career? He is not a prospect, but he is. Well, you can say a prospect because he's in the learning phase. He went from kickboxing to boxing. He's in a learning phase right now. And everyone he fought shows you that. He's in a learning phase. He can barely knock anybody out. He can barely keep win. He's in a learning phase. That's what he's been, that's why he fought at all these, all these lame ass dudes that that are no uh no no big significant. Let's let's look him up. I'm about to type his ass up right now. Internet kind of moving slow, but I ain't even gonna go to uh, box rec because box rec moves slow. Wikipedia just put something quick. Okay, he got 22 fights under his belt, right? And Gerard Miller's, in my, in my opinion, two biggest fights. Is Gerald Washington and Joan Duapos. This Thomas, uh, what what I called him last time? This Thomas Amtrak Adamac character. Look, look, he's beneath, in my opinion, Joan Duapos and Gerard Miller. In my opinion, he's beneath them too. How you gonna fight these two dudes? Just to go back. Because you don't want to fight Polev over there overseas. Because you scared. Because you can't knock nobody out. You know what I'm saying? You can't knock nobody out of no significance. You can knock some of these, these weaker dudes out. But with people with, with, uh, with fucking wind on them, you ain't doing that. You was not, you was not knocking these cats out, homie. Stop it. Stop it. You out of shape, dog. You 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 fake the phone and tell everybody that you in shape, but you're mad out of shape. You throw punches and bunches. Yes, you do. You throw a lot of punches, but come the sixth and seventh round, you you pillow tap it. I seen lesbian pornos with more motherfucking sound effects than than what you got in the ring. They be like, you be like, come on, bruh. And then it's this Dillian White character. Look, bruh. All you have to do right now is fight Dominic Brazil. Just shut the fuck up and fight Dominic Brazil. That's all you have to do. All this Deontay Wilder's name in your motherfucking mouth, it just needs to cease. Because you haven't been doing nothing. You fought a dude coming off a loss. And you got, and it went the distance. Because you are sorry. You fought the best Joseph Parker out there, tailor made for you to win, to knock out. And you damn near lost. Or in some people's cases, don't they don't even believe you won. They think it was given to you. They think the refs helped you out. They think this, this the, the judges helped you out. You see what I'm saying? You you natural boxing got the hookup when it comes between the refs and the judges. Because they top they top two fighters have been getting. They're getting some pretty good work, you know? They be getting some pretty good work in, you know? Nice little hookups. That's all you got to do, bro. Just shut the fuck up and go ahead and, and fight Dominic. Don't move my head. Use my forehead as a shield. Brazil. 
suck ass. Yep, and on that note, it's beer time, homie. I gotta go get me some more Guinness. Shoutouts to the LDBC, and everybody stay sucker free.